We bring you the latest from Filipinos down under. This is Balitang Australia. On behalf of Ria Tanwatko Trio, I'm Caroline Howard. The headline. Middle East, ano nang narinig natin? Gera, gera dito, gera dito. So, Australia, so far mam, wala pa eh. Sin, malinis po talaga ang Australia. An employment agency in Manila deploys OFWs to Australia free of charge. Mula silang dapat na ibigay ni Cinco sa mga agencies. An Australian firm is fined for reportedly maltreating 42 Pinoy workers. Remittances from OFWs reach $1.16 billion for the month of June alone. Pinoy Bossa Nova conquers Australia. So nice here. I, I, it's so charming. People are so nice. It's a good mix of Asians and others. And Pinoy's join Australia's greatest community fitness event for a worthy cause. To our uh, beloved uh, poor brothers and sisters in the Philippines that uh, give us the inspiration to do this. An employment agency is now deploying overseas Filipino workers to Australia without collecting any fees. This will benefit skilled workers as well as professionals in the IT industry. Noel Fornilios describes himself as a simple man with simple dreams. He is an information technology professional who wishes to work in Australia. In Middle East, ano narinig natin, mga gera, gera dito, gera doon. So Australia, so far mam, wala pa eh. Sin, malinis po talaga ang Australia. Making his dreams come true, however, is not as simple as he hopes it would be. He needs around 200,000 pesos to pay for his recruitment fee. Money he doesn't have. Noel's situation isn't unique. A lot of skilled workers and professionals in Manila would like to apply for work in different boom states down under, but they can't afford the stiff processing fees imposed by recruitment agencies. But this may change soon according to one recruitment firm. MAB International Services and its Australian partners have agreed not to collect any fees from Filipino workers who will be deployed to Australia. MADIS is the first recruitment agency in the Philippines which has been authorized by the Philippine Overseas Employment Agency to deploy Filipino workers down under. Lahat yan, ang employer ang magbabayad. So, ibig sabihin, wala silang dapat na ibigay ni Cinco sa mga agency. Selected Filipino workers will also have the privilege to bring their family to Australia. Maganda ang feedback nila regarding the character, yung mga pag-uugali datin. Magaling tayo magsalita ng English. Among the openings are for nurses, pharmacists, information technology professionals, auditors, landscape architects, engineers, interior decorators, carpenters, hairdressers, dressmakers, and skilled workers. Applicants may send their resumes to the Manila office of MAB International Services or they can check out their website. In more than 250,000 work positions up for grabs in Australia, Noel hopes that it will no longer be that complicated to make his simple dreams come true. Apple Salandoni, ABS-CBN News. Senate President Pro Tempore Jinko Estrado recommended the posting of two labor attaches in Australia, one in the Australian Capital Territory and the other in the Northern Territory, to help the Philippines maximize vast work opportunities down under. Estrada chairs the Senate Committee on Labor. He adds that labor attaches could also attend to instances of alleged maltreatment of OFWs in Australia.